To get started with the Video Physics app, first we tap Analyze a Video. We could take a new video using the camera, we could choose an existing video that we've already shot on this camera, or we can choose one of the built-in sample videos. In this case, we'll choose the basketball shot. Text is already on the screen to show you what to do next. We'll dismiss that and play the video once just to show you what it's about. As you can see here, it's a local physics teacher showing his prowess at basketball. So to advance it to the frame where the physics first get in, gets interesting, we can tap to rewind or use the scrubber bar if we like to go to a matching frame. Once we're on the first frame where the ball is in free throw, we can start to collect data. I'm going to dismiss my scrubber bar and then position the crosshairs of the cursor to be onto the top of the ball. Once the cursor is exactly where I want it, I tap with a second finger to record one point of the video. Next, I reposition the cursor to be on the top of the ball again. And again, when I tap with the second finger, it automatically records the X and the Y position of the center of the crosshairs. We find this is often the area that people ask us about is most because, although it's a supported gesture on iOS devices, most people have never used two fingers to tap at the same time. Generally what you do is use one finger to position the crosshairs and use your other finger to tap once you want to store the point. After we collect a point on each frame of the video, we come back and we see that we have a nice parabola. To advance to individual frames, tap anywhere near the bottom of the screen to return the scrubber, and then you can tap and go frame to frame to frame again, or again, just tap and drag to advance to the frame of interest. To see graphs of the motion, just tap the graph button and you can instantly see graphs of the Y position versus the X position. Swipe across to see a graph of X position versus time as well as X velocity versus time. And swipe to the third to see Y position versus time and Y velocity versus time. To return to your video, tap the video icon. Now that you have your data, you can bring up the toolbar, press the export button, and you can directly share the file to Facebook, which renders both the video and the graphs. You can also email both a logger profile and the video to do more analysis later on a computer. You can also save directly to your camera roll.